one mile done, 1016. Mile two incoming now. Mile two, 1016. Holding a steady pace this morning. Finish up with mile three here. Mile number three, 1022, wrapping it up there. Three miles, 31 minutes, 15 seconds, 1019 minute per mile pace. Average heart rate, 151. Good, solid start to the day. Let's get into meal number one. So for meal number one, we have six whole eggs, half of an avocado, two pieces of sourdough, and a banana. This is what we're starting off with, prioritizing protein, keeping car carbs moderate to low in the first meal. Also gonna sip on a coffee. This is how we're starting the day. Speak. Don't speak. Gentle. Gentle. Good girl. No. <laughs> Are you getting your 45 minutes in? Yeah. It is time for meal number two, which is also lunch. So we're gonna have 300 grams of white rice. We're gonna have roughly 250 to 300 grams of ground beef and some mustard. So that's gonna be lunch, but I wanna point out one thing real quick, and that is this rice right here from Trader Joe's. This jasmine rice from Thailand is by far my absolute favorite rice that I have ever had. So I highly recommend you guys check that out. And, if you make it in the Instapot, it is gonna be that much better than stovetop. If you guys do not have an Instapot, you have to check it out. It makes perfect rice without fail every single time. You click rice, you set it, you forget it, 30 minutes later you come back to perfect, fluffy, delicious rice. So that's my tip. Rice from Trader Joe's, in the Instapot for perfect rice. Now, the other thing, always weigh in our meals. It's something that after bodybuilding prep and the show that I did, I really just got in the habit of weighing uh, my food. And you don't have to weigh your food, but it's just making sure that I eat enough. I know exactly how much I'm eating throughout the day. I'm never questioning, you know, did I hit my carbs? Did I hit my protein goals for the day? I know for a fact, if I weigh it out, take the extra 30 seconds, just weigh everything, I know that I'm hitting what I need to. It's a little bit of a pro tip. Take some water, throw it in your rice, preheat it before you put the beef in. That way you don't dry out the beef and the rice is super fluffy because that little bit of water. So with that being said, we're gonna add the beef and cook that up now. 280 grams of beef. 300 grams of white rice. And last but not least, the finishing touch, yellow mustard. Makes it kinda like a burger bowl. But this meal right here, 
is my absolute favorite meal. I could eat this, and I do eat this either once or twice every single day. Sometimes I'll add avocado, tomatoes, pickles. Just kind of depends on what we have um, for today. I'm just going plain with these three ingredients. I like it. Helps me fuel my goals. Helps me reach my goals. It tastes good. And it's already pre-made. I just cook everything in batch so I have it ready to go. So this is going to be meal number two and or lunch. Finishing up a couple of last minute items before we hit the gym, but we're gonna mix up the intra workout drink. If you've been around for a while, you already know what that is, but we got one scoop of G1M Sport and one scoop of creatine. This is the intra workout stack. I've been running this for four years now since I competed. Three years, three years now since I competed. And so G1M Sport is 350 milligrams of sodium and 20 grams of carbs. This is also what I drank pre run this morning, but really easy to digest carb source also um, fuels you and hydrates you with the electrolyte. So go to supplement for quick carbs and hydration. And then creatine, I recommend everyone take creatine. It's a safe product. It promotes strength, power, performance, recovery, and is all around just a great product that everyone should be supplementing with because we do not get enough of it in our diets today. So that is the intro workout stack. You can use code Bender10. I'll leave a link below to bpnsubs.com. But Bender10 saves you 10% off on your orders. Helps me and the channel. Appreciate you guys. Let me know if you try it. Now let's get into the workout. All right, guys, moving into the workout portion of today's video, starting off with an incline dumbbell press. I did 65 pounds, four sets, eight to 10 reps. I was pretty fatigued from last week's workout, so really just focused on the pump here, focusing on squeezing through my upper chest and not through my shoulders, getting a good squeeze and a good contraction throughout. Really just wanted to get a solid pump from the workout, wasn't focused on weight today. Second exercise, moving into a dumbbell overhead press, focusing on the shoulders here making sure those dumbbells come to the outside of my shoulders getting a full range of motion doing 50 pound dumbbells here really just trying to get my shoulders in a good position to start pushing heavy weight again second chest exercise is a neutral seated press we're doing four sets eight to ten reps again here really focusing on the squeeze and the contraction here keep your Shoulder blades on the pad, just pushing through your chest, not through your shoulders. This is one of my favorite exercises for chest recently. Moving into my favorite shoulder exercise, a lateral raise. We're keeping the elbows locked, not going right directly to our side, but a little bit out in front, thinking about driving our pinkies to the wall beside us, and also not letting the tension out of the shoulders when you bring the weight down. Full range of motion, control, squeeze the muscle, doing 15 reps, three sets here. And last exercise of the day is a cable fly. The machine fly that I really like was taken, so this is the next best thing. Really looking back at this video, that right arm should be a little bit higher to match the left arm, but nonetheless got a solid pump in the chest. Did five sets here, 12 reps, lowered the weight a little bit just so i could get a really good squeeze and contraction definitely a solid pump a quick one and now we're going to dinner
So wrap number one, chicken, tomatoes, sour cream. Wrap number two, ground beef, sour cream, tomatoes. This chicken one is by far the best. Last meal of the day is going to be one and a half scoops of BPN whey protein. So this is the mint chocolate chip flavor. This is the one I've been enjoying the most recently. So 88% whey, 12% casein. Absolutely amazing, amazing flavor. I really have been enjoying this one. Also super cool label here. This, this was a throwback uh, flavor they haven't had in a while, but um, really good macros on this. So 25 grams of protein per scoop, three grams of carbs, and two and a half grams of fat. 130 calories so super super good macros this is how we're ending the day so with that we are wrapping up the full day of eating i hope you guys got value out of this you guys could see a little bit of insight into how i eat um, today was a little bit more bread than usual with the wraps and the in the sourdough but you know really sticking to the main principles when it comes to dieting protein fat carb protein is beef chicken eggs for carbs rice sourdough potatoes and fats avocado um, olive oil and then a lot of fat from the beef honestly so that's really what i stick to i i've been enjoying how i'm eating i'm looking and feeling strong i'm happy with the progress that i've made and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it helps me and the channel grow Appreciate you guys. We'll see you tomorrow for another video. Peace.